Right, so today I'm out on a local footpath on a beautiful September morning and I thought I'd just have a quick look at some of the nuts and berries and some of the things that you might find in the hedgerows at the moment, some of which are good for us and all of which are good for our local wildlife. So I've stopped here in this really sunny spot because there is some ivy in flower. Now at this time of year, ivy is so important for wildlife because it's one of the latest flowers providing pollen and nectar to a whole range of insects at this crucial time of year just before many of them are going to hibernate. And so if you can see it's quite early in the morning so it's not that warm yet but you can see that already it's becoming alive with bees and various other insects. Um, you can see the lovely flowers, these are the flowers here. On the, and you'll, if you look long enough you'll see a few bees coming to land. So it's a really really important plant. It's obviously evergreen so it also provides a great habitat over winter for some of those insects to hibernate in actually so it's really really good. Now some of the other things that you can see next to the ivy are hawthorn berries just over here. These red berries. So those are the hawthorn. And a little bit further along, we've got some sloes. So these blueberries here are the sloes and these grow on blackthorn. And these are pretty good to make slow gin. So we will probably be picking some of those in a moment. But you just have to watch the thorns if you come along to pick some of those. Now let's have a look and see what else. There are a few rose hips here as well. So rose hips can be made into rose hip syrup and things like that, but they have got very irritant hairs within them. So if you do use them, you do need to double strain them actually to make sure you get rid of those hairs. So let's see if there's anything else of interest here. We've got plenty of blackberries on this side, which obviously are very ripe and ready for picking at the moment. And um, do we have anything else? Plenty more ivy in flower. And then just above the ivy, might be a bit hard to see, there's a plant with some very small black berries on it. That's it there. And that's called purging buckthorn. And as the name suggests, you wouldn't want to eat those because they'd have a really nasty effect on you. But that plant is the food plant for the brimstone butterflies. So the adult brimstones will lay their eggs on there and the caterpillars will feed on those leaves. So that's really, really important for that particular species. And then we've got a, a whole load of ivy and flower. And actually you can see a lot of insects buzzing around it at the moment. Yeah, it's, that really is alive with insects. And that's really what you'll see this month on a sunny day if you walk past some ivy and there's lots lots and lots in the hedgerows at the moment so great time of year to go for a walk